I think the photography business and just like the film business, it really is starting out on the ground floor like it used to be. It, it, it's really difficult in that business to really get ahead without, I don't want to say all the time, but I would say from my experience, most of the time, it's really hard to get ahead if you're not willing in the beginning to sweep floors, get coffee for people, you know, carry equipment. Yeah. How far do you want me to carry it? You know, <laughs> I remember back, I think it was the late 70s, maybe, or, or mid 70s, when we had that gas crisis. <clears throat> I had a photographer that was helping me out, and then uh, he was supposed to go check on the location of the church because I always always have our photographers go out and uh, look at the location so so you know exactly you know how to get there where it's at so nobody gets lost and stuff and then he you know I told him to, you know go ahead and do that he goes well, hey my car's low on gas I'm not standing in line for no gas mm. wow so guess who got fired oh <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, for in the Chicago system... That's the wrong attitude. Yeah, in the Chicago yeah. system, the commercial Chicago system, you, yeah, you wouldn't last too long either. I mean, you would, you would, <laughs> no, that would be your I, last day. You know, if I don't have any gas and I get a job, you know, I'll, be, I'll be in line all day if I have to. Right, know? because that's part of your job. <laughs> you were told by the exactly. studio owner yeah. to go to the gas yeah. station and get gas as part of your job. And, if, and, and you know what, though? And if maybe you're too good to do that... That's no problem. You could always get a job at Subway. Well, most studio owners aren't going to, um, I, I would say most studio outfits, if that's the attitude, you'll probably never end up looking through a camera. They're never gonna end up in the business, so that's mm. what I say, because there's other jobs that they can work in, like maybe a McDonald's job or, or Subway. You know, Maybe that'll suit them better. Right, and there's nothing wrong with that work. It's good work, you know. I mean, all, all work is good work. Absolutely. But, but yeah. But the thing is, though, is if if yeah, if you're not. I used to work as a dishwasher and stuff. And I, right. Yeah, you know, my first job was I used to. Uh, well, other than the paper boy, but I used to be the guy that was in that uh, that jeep that collects the golf carts. Oh, okay. Or uh, golf, the balls? golf balls, yeah, so okay. that everybody would try to aim at. Okay. <laughs> you know, so that's a good experience. That's good training. And it's a good incentive, you yeah. know, to want to leave. Yeah, it's good to training. Do something else. To, to, yeah. uh, Every job is, you know, Stepping has value stone. and stuff. It's absolutely right. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it because, right. I mean, there's some great people that work at these restaurants and they do a super job. And I right. even, you know, so if I run into somebody like that, I, I always tell them, you know, and I appreciate, you know, what they're doing because a lot of these jobs are actually thankless jobs and stuff, you know. Yeah, and even in the film business, you know, the truth of the matter is, is um, in production work, on major shows, it's kind of thankless also. It's not as glamorous yeah. as what people think. Right. It's, it's yeah. thankless. It, that's a good point because a lot of people think that, oh man, if I do photography, I'll be such a such a glamorous thing and stuff, but it's all, let's see, how would you call that? Illusions of grandeur, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> want to sound downtrodden as thankless, but the thing is, is then, you know, after you get to a certain point, you really start appreciating life as it is. Yeah. You know, just people for who they are and, and just, you know, on a daily basis, just trying to enjoy life. Because the thing is, is once you get to the certain point and you say, I made it, it's um, at that point, I know it's kind of getting away from the photography discussion, but in a way it's similar because when you get to that point, um, you know, you you do eventually get to that point. Yeah, we, talk, point. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. once before as soon as you get there in your mind yeah. i guess you would think you're going to hear a band playing right right well right. it doesn't happen that way no <laughs> no the band not is at in all. your head <laughs> no not at all so, and, that, and that's why to take go back to the beginning so, that's why there's nothing wrong with starting out small in photography there's nothing wrong with minimal equipment and learning it really oh, well because it's a journey minimal and, equipment it's the greatest though if you're not bogged down by all this uh right all these things that are just going to weigh you down and slow you down and stop you from doing the job. Because you're going to go you know? full circle. I mean, you're going to start off with minimal equipment possibly unless you have the money and you want to go out and buy more equipment. But mm -hmm. when you get to the point where you go, I've made it in this business as far as photography, 
then most of the time you want to go back to minimal equipment anyways. Right. So, and you just want to keep yeah. it simple. So. That's exactly true. So people so go you, like full circle. You go full circle. They start out with, with uh, maybe a little light or something, right. you know, one or two lights, maybe using bounce light and right. reflector. And right now, I just love using my reflector every chance I get. You can do a lot with the reflector. On location, absolutely. You can do and, a lot with a reflector. And just using an umbrella light, you know, yeah. Well, Dave, I want to, I think our time is just about up, and I want to thank you very much for coming to our pool. And uh, we're going to try to do this every every once in a while, maybe have a little discussion down by the pool and just talk about the the state of the business of, of photography and, and, you know, see where it's going and maybe help some of the new people out. Thank you very much, Dave. To see more information about learning photography, please visit www.photofons.com. Thank you.